Hey folks, Jabber Nakovich here with All Points Design. That's allpointsdesign.ca. And today we're taking a look at the Oregon State University Permaculture Template. Specifically, we are going to be creating our base maps. And one of the things that's really useful when making base maps is ensuring that the background is the background. What do I mean that by that? I mean, I can click on this image and if I start layering on different elements, chances are I'm going to click or hit on this image. So what we're gonna do is go through the process of how to make this image the background and then how to use that in building our base map. So one of the first things we'll wanna do is we're going to want to create another slide. So wherever you have your working files for this course, so I've got my active Bernakovich, I'm gonna do new, Google Slides and click on that. So that's gonna make a whole new Google Slides and it's gonna come up and it's gonna populate. First thing we wanna do is we wanna change the page setup. So it's under file, we're gonna hit page setup and we're gonna to go to custom. So instead of 69, we're gonna to go to custom. And this slide is made out of our, our template is 11 by, pardon me, 17 by 11 inches. So we're going to want to apply that right off the bat. And then we're going to want to delete what's here. Next, we're going to come back to our previous slide. And we're going to take the slide that we're going to use as our base map. So again, we want to make sure that this is the slide we want. And it's good. It's got a good place and we can see everything. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy. So right click copy or command C and go over to our new presentation and command V or right click paste. Great. We're going to keep our original styles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to remove everything but this image. So everything else is going to go because chances are we're, we may want to change different things, but we don't want to change this image. So we're going to remove this and we're going to remove this. So uh, this is a great example. Actually, I brought in this, uh, this, master master element. So this is a great opportunity to show how to change the master slide. So if we go to slide edit master, you'll see that we've got this title at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that and delete it because for this extra slide here, we don't want it. Great. So that's gone. Now that I have this, I can save this. So we want to go to file, download PNG image. Again, file, download PNG image. And that's gonna save directly to my downloads. And there we go. So I've got everything I need and nothing I don't. I just want this image. Great, so I'm gonna close that, close that one. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back to our active map. So here's our active map. So I can click on this. So we're going to, I've already done this a few times in preparation. So I'm just gonna delete a few of those. We're gonna duplicate this slide. So again, copy and paste or just duplicate slide. And I'm going to remove my image. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the background image. So we can right click and do change background, or we can go to slide, change background. So I'm going to do right click, change background, and I'm going to go choose image. And then I'm going to take that image I just produced from that other slide, and I'm going to bring it in. As it loads, it's gonna become the background of this slide. So now watch, I can't actually click on this. I can click on all of my elements here. I can click on my base map, but this has now become the background. This is super important when we go to start putting in elements like trees or different um, uh, shapes. So if I put in a shape that I'm trying to make the size of my house, I now can move this shape around. I can change the shape. And when I go to, let's say, highlight this, I don't pick up the background. It's a very useful tool that we'll use time and time again throughout this process. All right, folks, all the best. Looking forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.